Hi guys, welcome to the system. It's the newest ISO that you'll receive in a few days. I just wanted to make an, um, a video that is going to make a summary of all the changes we do in order for Hyperlin to work on NVIDIA. So maybe let's go to number three. So NVIDIA, yes, it's there, it's installed, it's working. It's a GTX 970 in this machine and it works with NVIDIA DKMS. That's important because there are other hardware out there and there is like, if you type NVIDIA, like 300 mentions of the word NVIDIA and a lot of drivers, all drivers, different packages you can build and install. We work with NVIDIA DKMS, so for the newer hardware. And then independent if it's Linux, Zen or LTS or any kernel. The topic of the video is making a summary. How do we make it work on Arch Linux? So if you're on Arch Linux or anything else, and you want to install Hyperlint, and you do have an NVIDIA, and hopefully you can use NVIDIA DKMS, then this makes sense. But of course, it all makes sense because you go to the um, hyperlint.org. Let's go to the website immediately. You don't have to Google this, hyperlint.org. Wiki. NVIDIA and take a look if this changes over time. So there are different versions and so on. You can test those out. Um, the thing is, if you follow the Arch Wiki and the Hyperlint Wiki, probably you're going to be okay. The thing is, I would just want to touch a few files and show you the content of our file and how this is possible. How do I do Arch Linux? Does Arch Linux make it possible to have an Hyperlint actually working? On Nvidia, right? So, Ctrl T and grub is one of our aliases. We go to etc default grub, it's up here, and we add this line, okay? That's one thing that's different. Super X, oh, sorry, Super Ctrl X, yes. So, exit. Then there is the make init CPIO, that's something we've added as well in the modules, four, five, five lines, all right? Nvidia, two, three, four lines, sorry, all right? So that's added. If we change something like this, you have to update things. The same with uh, grub, uh, up, grub is update grub. That's what we do here. If we change the grub, and if we change the make init CPO file, we do a sudo make init CPO capital P, and then you get this these lines, right? So after grub, update grub, and after this one, if you changed it, that one. Now, that's um, already something that we've changed. There is more that we've changed in the ETC. And then profiles, we have something. We use profiles and Hyperlint SH is this one. It only contains these two guys and all the rest is actually in the other guy, which is Wayland. So try to make a distinction between the desktop and the backend. So this is the Hyperlint setting and that's all it requires but Wayland requires all these other things and we hope it works in QMU and Oracle and VMware which often it does not right because yeah we tell you guys install it on real metal so that's that another thing you should have a look at is the MO something mod pro D that's something as well that we've changed well added an Nvidia Wayland another option it's the same as in the grub it is a result of continuous looking at code and testing and testing and testing until it works so this is what we've done and this is what we keep as you see it works and that's good enough for me all right so that's it i believe i've touched all the files that we've changed i'm thinking yes so that's um, the end of the video cheers